Hello guys, welcome to the Let's Play of Destiny Beta. I was one of the lucky ones to receive a beta code for this. Um, I have already played it. I've played as a Warlock and maxed out the level. Uh, the highest level you can get to is level 8. Um, but I've, you can still go through plenty of other stuff. Um, there's the more weapons you can get. Um, crucible points and a lot of stuff I don't, I don't really un understand yet. Um, as you can see in the bottom left, pre-release beta, the old disclaimer stuff, pardon our dust, some platform games, features may not be effective expected, the game may crash for support, blah blah blah. blah. Yep, let's go and have a look at the menu. <coughs> Speeds running quite slow today. As you can see, their beta build that, that, that stays on there all the time once you play it. There you go, there you can see my uh, the character I've played, uh, got all the way to level 8. The number below there, at 340, is Grimoire points, or Grimoire cards, I think. Um, they are things that you collect I believe you can only see them via bungie.net um, I, I don't know, I believe, I don't know if that helps the character or not or if there's any sort of improvements made by that I have no idea, like I said I'm still not fully understanding this game yet well one thing I do know is it's a very pretty looking game it's good gameplay I'll show you now. I'll create a new guardian. Right, I had a warlock to start with. We might as well try something different. You got the titan and the hunter. We'll start with the warlock is first. The universe bends to your will. Manipulate its energies to unlock your foes. Uh, void walker. Obviously, these are the, the attacks. Void Walker, how an explosive bolt of void light at the enemy, disintegrating those caught within its blast. Oh, I'm just that's at level 15. That must just be once you get. Where's that Sunsinger? Oh, Sunsinger on it, yeah, yeah, Sunsinger, you get this. Fill yourself with solar light for increasing the effectiveness of your abilities. Yeah, it must be level 15 because my, my character didn't have anything like that. Alright, okay, these other two, let's choose. Obviously, as you select, you can see they change character. Titan, from what I can understand, is like your, yeah, in like World of Warcraft terms, your tank. Go in there and kick some ass. Uh, you're an armored engine of war, controlling your battle with strength and strategy. So, yeah, that backs that up. Striker, smash the ground and dissolve enemies in a maelstrom of arc light. Yep, backs it up again. Defender, shape void light into an indestructible shield to protect your alloys from harm. Ah, oh, a little bit of a defense thing as well. Hunter, you're a master of the frontier. Stalk and kill your enemies with ruthless precision. Gunslinger. Right, yeah, so. Hmm, so which one would be the DPS? Oh, yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Not really a medic, I suppose. Or a healer. Um, similar so flame pistol with switch to with the solar light. Charge your blade of arc light and consume your foes of lightning. Hmm. So those two. Similar ish, then, I'd say. Alright, right. yeah. I want to go all badass, so we'll go with a titan and see what we'll do here. Customize your appearance. Right, my warlock was a. Human. So let's try something different. I don't think there's any. Um, a benefit of having a different race at the moment. It doesn't quite have any like stats when you pick them. Just, just you can just change. Once you got the male, woken male, is that woken? So is woken? Exo male. Ooh. Oh, are they robots? Alien souls? 
you know, they have some sort of description of what they are. Maybe it'll come in the full release, maybe. Human female. Excuse me. Alright, yeah. Okay, human female. Woken female. Oh, I'm trying to have the graphics on off my head. Yeah. Woken female. Holy Christ. Uh, right. Let's go with the, continue with the Titan look. I'm gonna go with the fucking XO male. I like him. He looks good. Yeah. Right, uh, face. I don't really got a different style. How much of them? Ooh, that's why it's spooky. Look at your soul. Right, um, hmm. Which one do I like? Which one? No. I'm not sure I like the horn on the head. They all got They all have the horn. <coughs> I'll go with you. Yeah, I like him. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Steam gun. I need it. Let's try the helmet gun. Oh, I can. I'll have a look. Purple. Mouth colour red. Oh, some little lights in there, isn't it? There it is. So I'm going to keep those two red. Because that looks like evil. Can I not change the colour of the rest? Or does that stay orange? If that's the time, I'm going to change this colour then. Uh, red and orange. I like that. I'm gonna go with that. Yep. Head features. Oh, I can get, oh, I can get rid of the horn. What the features I got? What that fucking. What that? Oh, that fucking Frankenstein thing. Bolts out the head. Don't mind that. Got winglets? Right, okay. What's your headbutt panel? Nut someone? What's your bloody headphones? Listen to some beats? <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna be? What's he got there? Okay, I'm gonna be a whale and have them bloody, um, what are they on? Belly, you know what the fuck I mean. <coughs> no. No. What? Got a hole in your head. More headphones. I don't really like any of them. I'll just stick with the horn. I like having the horn. Right, um, so can I change that colour? I can. Does that match the colour of the suit? I don't, does it? Not white. Void does. We'll go white how much is the suit. Markins. Oh, hell no. Oh, what? You can get rid of the orange. Oh, you change the colour of the orange. Wunderbar. I'll go back. I'm not really keen on this mouse thing. It doesn't even work with the touchpad on the PS4 controller. If it did work on that, I'm not even making it a bit more better. Use it just like a mouse on a laptop. Uh, oh well. Do we what we got? Let's just look at the other ones. 37. That was quite smart. Hmm, I like that. Oh, no, this one. <coughs> Sorry about the yawn. I just got up. Straight to record. <coughs> Do I keep orange? Yeah, I keep orange. Fuck it. Screw it. Don't hit beta. I'm not 100 sure if your data gets deleted. And you have to start again when the actual game comes out. 
Anchor and let me know in the comments or somehow. Please do. I'll let you watch this intro movie. We called it The Traveller, and its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the Traveler had an enemy, a darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. Centuries after our golden age began, this darkness found us. And that was the end of everything. But it was also a beginning. As you can tell, that was Bill Nye. He plays as one of the characters as well in the game. Oh, we'll, we'll encounter him uh, later on. You're going to hear another voice you might recognise. Someone off the Game of Thrones. I don't watch the Game of Thrones, I'm not sure who it is. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> the name kind of doesn't even ring a bell to me. Inside the walls. Sorry if you missed some of um, that scene. Maybe that. Sort of cut out. Oh, yeah, this is now. We're now in the game. 
what happened was I was dead. That thing that was flowing about is called a ghost and it resurrected me. That does not get explain why in the game at all. It's not the moment anyway. I didn't bring you back just for you to die again. We have to move. Oh right, I'm moving. But yeah, all I do is run away from the fall. Okay. I need to find you a weapon before the fallen find us. But basically you'll see them. Quiet! They're right above us. As you can see, this is a... Going from out of the outside, that was a very pretty game. A very good looking game. Uh, shadows! I don't normally get shadows, but shadows! Right, yeah. I don't know the sound of it on the first blade. But I didn't remember this bit. This was creepy as fuck. Well. Hang tight. Fall and drive in the dark. We won't. We need more light. I'll see what I can do. Another one of these hardened military systems. And a few centuries of entropy working against me. You know how to use that thing. Eyes <laughs> forward. Watch your tracker. Kill things. Yellow are uh, critical hits, i.e., uh, headshots. Um, that will be a bit of ammo. We have three separate parts to ammo. Um, to type, sorry. You have the white ones, which is your primary ammo, which is what I'm working on now. You have a green ammo, which is your secondary ammo, your shotgun or high powered rifle, fusion rifles. Then the third one is heavy ammo, i.e. rocket launchers. We have to collect several types of ammo for it to work. More ahead. Keep it up. So as you can see, white boxes, white ammo, plus the one. Let's see what's up here. There you go. Probably the best example. Best example is when you travel to the tower. But just, just forget, let's not, not forget that this is a beta. There's still improvements to be had. Yeah, I could improve what this all looks like as well. A loot cache. Let's see what's inside. Loot crate. Pretty standard thing. And that plus 46 on the right end cubes is um, Glimmer. That is, that's the currency of the world. <clears throat> so, uh, right, we just collected a secondary weapon. As you can see down the bottom left, you can see on the right, to the very right of that bar, it's green. So this is now 
you collect green green ammo for this. Chip mines! Don't touch them. Really? I don't know. Can I shoot these guys? I can't shoot these. Moves on the outside, the movement indicator. Big segments are threat indicators. So you can't really see where someone is. So yeah, you can see if I'm clear the fallen have a tighter hold on this place than I thought. Just a little bit further. Let's hope there's something left out there. Shadows. I like shadows. He names me not in my just stare at my shadow. This was an old Cosmodrome. There's gotta be something we can fly out of here. Incoming! Ah, oh, fuck. Fallen ships! This close to the surface! Move! Exploring. They happen at random events. They also keep the 
local population of enemies topped up, so if you kill a load of a little um, group of them, then the ships will come in and top it up. to the bomb. Well, that adds just to my my single account along with I'm playing on. So you can play a different character but still talk at them same points. Um controls for controls. Obviously left stick move about right stick aim. L1 is a grenade throw which we should get um, in a little while. R1 <coughs> is melee. L2 aim I can shoot, square reload, triangle swap. Uh, when you get your heavy attack, you hold down and that will swap to your heavy. Circle is crouch. Um, yeah, at a moment. Right hand D pad is dance. Do a little dance. Up is salute. Oh, wave. That was a sleep, wasn't it? We just done. There it is. What are you doing? Left hand is point. Down is have a little, have a little rest. Yeah. Um, when you're with people, socially on air, you can. Ooh. Somebody that tells you the bottom left you're pointing at so and so. Yeah, I'm picking up here. signs of an old jump ship. Could be our ticket out of here. You can see along the bottom, you get, which is a little bit greyed out. Here's your level bar. So I'm on two, and there's that. Just about to see a bar along it next to it. That um that fills up once obviously that gets that green line at the end and you level up. And then you unlock stuff and the you know the you know the normal level up process. Right. I don't actually remember what I know we're after a ship. I remember it being hanging on some cables. I can't remember. If this level happens, I thought I got grenades here. Oh. That's the ship you all get to start with. This thing here is a There's captain. a ship! Clear him out! She has a shield on her. She has to knock out the shield first. If you knock out the shield and leave it, then I'll just regenerate. 
and I think it's helped me as well, I think. And he fucking teleported. That's what there you go, shield's out, so we go up for longer. Oh. My shield now, so it's not flashing red bar. See if I can get us out of here. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> so, obviously, first level, pretty simple. It's been here a while. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? I can make it work. I think the next mission is where you go back and basically clear the rest of them out. Shadow Ravens. I don't know what that Shadow Ravens thing is. Oh, yeah, you can see here. Kills 52, precise kills 17, so headshots. Ability kills. I believe that's just punch them in the face. <laughs> You get your rewards here if you get rewards for uh, leveling up and stuff like that. You know, you get, you get to see how many times you died. So when you do the um, online uh, COD style battles, the 6v6 uh, PvP, you don't get to see how many times you died. Because I died quite a bit. Oh, I want to see it. Um, and anyway, yeah, advancement, you can see here. These are upgrades that you start to build up. So we've now got the grenade, and that was all about. Uh, lift is yeah, you jump and you glide. You go up to a certain point and then slowly f float down. Pulse grenade. That's just improving on that one, I believe. And that too bounties. You can get bounties. Um, and then you slowly work on them as you do other missions so you can or you can do um, exploring so you collect the bounty from the tower which we'll go to in a minute um, and it will be like kill a hundred vandals without dying or something like that not too bad at the moment I'm working on them through my other character but you, you can't get them just yet on this character you have to get to a certain level so we will do um, oh, no, another bit here, Mission summary. Oh, hold on. Death's here. There's another little page. Melee kills, orbs. Orbs? Oh, yeah, you make low orbs for some reason. I don't know what the hell they are. But, oh, yeah, maybe you do see your deaths. 
Okay, obviously, if you were with a far team of three or you know, 6v6, this would show up the other teams and against your score and place your where you meant to be. Right, let's continue. Got to hold the button. See how we've attained the Acadia class championship. Box standard, obviously. Welcome to the last safe city on Earth, the only place the Traveler can still protect. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. And this tower is where the Guardians live. Right, so yeah, now the tower. This is the... This is basically your where you your home is, where your hub is, where your mission's from. Um, yeah, loading screens are a long time today. So I got the game on. I got my beta code when it came out on the Thursday, the seventeenth. I've been played it every day up until now. Obviously, on the first day, got struggled to get the beta codes off Bungie off the website. Obviously, everyone's trying to get it at the same time. I was at work that day, so I got home. I struggled to get them. Then when I come to actually get them, put them into PSN, trying to download it. Oh, what happened? PSN went now. But <clears throat> yeah, a few Facebook angry Facebook Facebook posts later, finally got the game. But when you went straight in, it was. I've had no glitches with it at all. I've not struggled at all with it. There's been like a few graphical clippings, but other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. But yeah, this is the last C, as they call Scheduled it. Scheduled task added to queue. Priority three. Okay. Every now and get them buggers fly past. Let's get a shit out of you. Um, yeah, this is quite a foggy day actually. At the moment, you can't go down there. I don't know whether you're going to be able to in the full release. Not a clue. Obviously, up there you got the traveller. You don't learn anything else about it. You don't know what it is. Uh, you know, there's a big battle eons ago, and that's how it got crippled. Bill Nye tells me that, so it must be true. You don't know nothing about it. That's just basically it. Um, so this is the tower where the guardians live. I don't think I'm on top. Oh, over there. Um, I think this guy shows me a map. Here, yeah. Know what you need, Titan? So as it is, around here you got the speaker, which is Bill Naive. We'll get. We we'll go to him later. I'll probably be in another episode. I might cut the end of this episode once we've had a look around here. You got new. New monarchy. That's that's something to do with PvP, I believe. Elfita. Uh, that's. Oh, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Postmaster. Get your post off people, friends, and all that. Initially, you got a, uh, a post off Bungie, and they gave you everything. It was 500 glimmer. Special orders. I don't know what that is. Have a look at that. Vaults. That's your bank system. 
I don't know whether that's working yet or not, you can look into it, but I don't know if I'm just being stupid and can't actually use it. Crypt Arc is you get these like spherical things that are encrypted. Like weapons or clothing or anything like that. And you take it to this Crypt Arc and he will unlock it for you. Or decrypt it, whatever you want to call it. You get them through the missions. Um Gunsmith, obviously weapons, ammo. Bounties, that's what we're talking about where you get the bounties from in the tower. You collect them, you can think you only have five active at one time. I don't think I can look at them yet on this character. Uh, crucible is the crucible is your PvP area. So that's where you need to go for all your points and that. Um, where you can improve you can get improvements or trade in points that you get from the crucible. Vanguards are your like your group leaders for different ones, so there'll be the Titan Vanguard, the Warlock Vanguard and I can't remember what the other one was. Was that a striker? No one a striker was it? I can't bloody remember. I'll have a look at that. And events. Um I didn't even look at that on the other character. I'm guessing that's certain events that pop up that you can carry out via Bungie or whoever sets them up. Uh, future War Cult, no idea. Shipwright, that's where you buy new ships. I think you will eventually be able to buy um, improvements to your ships. Dead Orbit, not sure. Quartermaster, I think that's weapons for your ship as well. As you can see, that's your Tower Hangar, your Traveller's Walk, Hall of Guardians, Tower North, uh, Tower Watch. In all these areas, there's these little runoff bits here, runoff there. All those bits in the map behind that you can't see. There's doors as well, all, all in these areas that are, you know, like invisible, invisible walls on there. There's a lot of this, I think. I think, will be opened up on full release, or when you're able to progress through the different levels. Hopefully, because at the moment it's a little bit small for my liking for a hub of, of so many people. <clears throat> I don't know how many people will be limited to each each area. Because I've not noticed there's quite a few on the other one. I don't know how many we've got on this one actually. There's one over there. One there. Uh, not sure. I've always been able to these other people pretty sure the character interaction. So if you go up to another player, Seen press this before. Um, it's R3. I find that interact thing where you press options so it's kind of range enough. So we'll try one of these here. Maybe we'll try these because still there. Click options, you can go with this information. So you've got their level, level 8, their group of points. Fire team set of friends only. You try and do a group of three. Fingerprints are all so they're only allowing their scatter. friends to go in and play with them. He doesn't even care if we know. Fire team members 3 out of 6. Okay, I don't know that was. But he's only got three there, so he goes down to three. Or maybe if, when it means it's going into the crucible, you get six. That becomes an, uh, an extended flight team. Unless you can invite them in. I don't want to come in and not down. Spec glade, you can see all the stuff that they have. As you can see there. So I think they're a warlock, aren't they? Yeah, warlock human. You can see all their different things. Go down this extended tab, you can see obviously your ghost. That normally comes, I'll show you my character in a minute. Sparrow, that's a vehicle. Built in shader. But yeah, that's that. Um, if we go on my one, if you click the options button on the PS4 controller, you can go into your character. Um, so that's the um, close quarters. Um, punch him in the face sort of thing um, yeah that gets obviously that gets improved see the details of it here so that's just, I'll just improve that select that these all improve going down so once you get that one that will that'll then start building up that one and start building that one and then another so as I think that's the you know the ultimate one of it is, so you can do 
see how this uh, glass look in previous choices. Yeah. I'm not actually sure what that is. I mean, whatever it is, it puts a fucking armor by a bit. But yeah, that's that bit. So you got your weapon, and the box down weapon. Uh, shotgun, box down shotgun. Hey, weapons haven't been unlocked yet. I haven't found one. Equipment. Obviously, you just got your ship. And then that, just preview it. So, moving about the menu. That's a bit strange. A bit strange. Um, shaders. Armor shaders. I think you can then change the color of your armor once you get that. That's that's some of the outfit is on the tower south, I think, whatever it was. Um, obviously, what emblem you want to display. Oh yeah, that oh yeah, that just changes up on the um, your little profile bar bit. Um, yeah, veteran or commander. I don't know, veteran. I'm with the veteran on the elevator. Uh, vehicle. You get a vehicle as well when you go on exploring around the open world bit. You can. Unlock, uh, summon a vehicle, and then that'll speed up going around places. I haven't got that here, obviously. You have your inventory, so your consumables, your ammo, health, and other bits like that. I haven't really seen anything else on there. Materials, there's certain materials you can collect, which I don't think there's any use for yet, but that, um, I believe that's going to be. Like possibly building weapons, building armor, building consumables, maybe missions. Uh, obviously, you can activate missions, collect them. Obviously, I only have ten going at a time. Same, uh, similar with bounties. I only have five going at a time. But obviously, once you work through them, you return to the tower, so the missions, and then claim your reward and start another. Um. Ah, company. Actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, next video, we'll take a wander around the tower, and we'll go in a bit more in depth about what's around here, because half of it I don't even know. So we'll learn together, I believe. But what I'll leave you with is a very pretty sight of the last traveller with. Last traveller? No, last city, sorry. With some ships coming in, a player vessel coming in. One of those. I do like this graphics. Other days cleared up as well, which is a bit of a bit, so we'll leave you with that so anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Um Oh I don't know when I'm gonna post the next video. I might try and work on it straight after this one. We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.